Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. When merging onto a highway, you should speed up to match the flow of traffic and merge when it is safe to do so. Question 2. At a four-way stop, who has the right of way? A. The driver who arrived first. B. The driver to the left. C. The driver to the right. Answer. A. The driver who arrived first. At a four-way stop, the driver who arrives first should proceed first. If two drivers arrive at the same time, the driver on the right has the right of way. Question 3. True or false? You can legally drive in the left lane if you are not passing another vehicle. Answer. False. The left lane is generally reserved for passing slower vehicles. Unless you are passing another vehicle, you should stay in the right lane. Question 4. When approaching a traffic light that has turned green, you should A. Accelerate immediately B. Proceed with caution C. Wait for the light to turn red Answer. B. Proceed with caution. When a traffic light turns green, you should proceed with caution, as there may still be vehicles or pedestrians in the intersection. Question 5. True or false? You must stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk, even if there is no stop sign or traffic signal. Answer. True. You must always yield the right of way to pedestrians in a crosswalk, regardless of the presence of stop signs or traffic signals. Question 6. The minimum following distance behind another vehicle is A. 1 car length B. 2 car lengths C. 3 seconds Answer. C. 3 seconds. A safe following distance is at least 3 seconds behind the vehicle in front of you, allowing you time to react to any sudden changes in traffic. Question 7. True or false? It is illegal to use your horn to signal someone to go faster or get out of the way. Answer. True. Using your horn to signal someone to go faster or get out of the way is considered aggressive driving and is illegal. Question 8. If you miss your exit on a highway, you should A. Stop and reverse B. Make a U-turn C. Continue to the next exit Answer. C. Continue to the next exit if you miss your exit, remain calm and continue to the next exit. Never stop, reverse, or make a U-turn on a highway. Question 9. True or false? You may pass a vehicle on the right if they are signaling a left turn and you have enough room to pass safely. Answer. True. If a vehicle is signaling a left turn and there is enough room to pass safely on the right, you may do so. Question 10. The most common factor in collisions involving young drivers is A. Speeding B. Distracted driving C. Alcohol Answer. B. Distracted driving Distracted driving, such as texting or talking on a cell phone, is the most common factor in collisions involving young drivers. Question 11. True or false? When parking downhill, you should turn your wheels toward the curb. Answer. True. When parking downhill, turn your wheels toward the curb so that if your vehicle rolls, it will be stopped by the curb. Question 12. When driving in fog, you should use your A. High beam headlights. B. Low beam headlights. C. Hazard lights. Answer. B. Low beam headlights. When driving in fog, you should use your low beam headlights, as high beams can reflect off the fog and make it more difficult to see. Question 13. True or false? If you are involved in a collision, you must report it to the police if there is property damage or injuries. Answer. True. If you are involved in a collision that results in property damage or injuries, you must report it to the police. Question 14. When backing up, you should. A. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. B. Use only your side mirrors. C. Use only your rear view mirror. Answer. A. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. 
When backing up, you should turn your head and look over your right shoulder to get a clear view of the area behind your vehicle. Question 15. True or false? A broken yellow line means that passing is allowed if the way is clear. Answer. True. A broken yellow line indicates that passing is allowed if the way is clear, and it is safe to do so. Question 16. At a railroad crossing with flashing lights, you should A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. C. Cross the tracks quickly. Answer. B. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. When the lights at a railroad crossing are flashing, you must stop and wait for the train to pass before proceeding. Question 17. True or false? It is legal to make a right turn on a red light after coming to a complete stop, unless a sign prohibits it. Answer. True. You may make a right turn on a red light after coming to a complete stop, unless a sign prohibits it. Be sure to yield to pedestrians and other traffic. Question 18. When approaching a school bus with its red lights flashing, you must A. Pass the bus on the left. B. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. B. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. When a school bus has its red lights flashing, you must stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing before proceeding. Question 19. True or false? If you are being passed by another vehicle, you should maintain your speed and position. Answer. True. If you are being passed by another vehicle, you should maintain your speed and position to allow the other vehicle to pass safely. Question 20. When approaching a stopped emergency vehicle with its lights flashing, you should A. Move over one lane, if possible. B. Speed up to pass the vehicle quickly. C. Continue at the same speed and lane. Answer. A. Move over one lane, if possible. When approaching a stopped emergency vehicle with its lights flashing, you should move over one lane, if possible, to give the emergency vehicle room to work. Question 21. True or false? You may use your hazard lights while driving in heavy rain or fog. Answer. False. You should not use your hazard lights while driving, as it can be confusing to other drivers. Instead, use your low beam headlights and slow down. Question 22. When driving in heavy rain, you should A. Turn on your high beam headlights. B. Turn on your low beam headlights. C. Drive with your hazard lights on. Answer. B. Turn on your low beam headlights. In heavy rain, you should turn on your low beam headlights to increase your visibility and help other drivers see you. Question 23. True or false? A solid white line between lanes indicates that you may change lanes if it is safe to do so. Answer. False. A solid white line between lanes indicates that lane changes are discouraged or not allowed. Question 24. When parallel parking, you should be no more than blank inches from the curb. A. 6. B. 12. C. 18. Answer. B. 12. When parallel parking, you should be no more than 12 inches from the curb. Question 25. True or false, you must yield the right of way to a funeral procession. Answer. True. You must yield the right of way to a funeral procession, allowing it to proceed without interruption. Question 26. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Towards the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Away from the curb. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, turn your wheels away from the curb so that if your vehicle rolls, it will be stopped by the curb. Question 27. True or false. If your vehicle starts to skid, you should turn your steering wheel in the direction you want your vehicle to go. Answer. True. If your vehicle starts to skid, turn your steering wheel in the direction you want your vehicle to go to regain control. Question 28. A flashing red traffic light means A. Stop and proceed when it is safe. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Yield the right of way. Answer. A. 
stop and proceed when it is safe. A flashing red traffic light means you must come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. Question 29. True or false? Headlights must be turned on from sunset to sunrise. Answer. True. Headlights must be turned on from sunset to sunrise, as well as during periods of limited visibility, such as rain or fog. Question 30. If you are involved in a collision and your vehicle is still drivable, you should A. Leave your vehicle where it is B. Move your vehicle off the roadway C. Wait for the police to arrive before moving your vehicle Answer B. Move your vehicle off the roadway If you are involved in a collision and your vehicle is still drivable, move it off the roadway to a safe location to prevent further collisions and traffic congestion. Question 31. True or false? You may use a handheld cell phone while driving if it is for a brief conversation. Answer. False. You may not use a handheld cell phone while driving, regardless of the length of the conversation. Use a hands-free device if you must make or receive a call while driving. Question 32. The speed limit in a school zone is A. 15 miles per hour B. 25 miles per hour C. 35 miles per hour. Answer. B. 25 miles per hour. The speed limit in a school zone is typically 25 miles per hour, but always follow posted speed limits as they may vary. Question 33. True or false, when exiting a highway, you should slow down before entering the exit ramp. Answer. False. You should maintain your speed while on the highway and slow down once you have entered the exit ramp. Question 34. When entering a roundabout, you should A. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. B. Proceed without stopping. C. Enter the roundabout to the left. Answer. A. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. When entering a roundabout, you should yield to vehicles already in the roundabout and enter to the right. Question 35. True or false. If a traffic signal is not functioning, treat the intersection as a four-way stop. Answer. True. If a traffic signal is not functioning, treat the intersection as a four-way stop. Question 36. When driving on a road with a center two-way left turn lane, you should A. Use the lane to pass slower vehicles. B. Use the lane for left turns only. C. Drive in the lane for extended periods. Answer. B. Use the lane for left turns only. A center two-way left turn lane should be used for left turns only and not for passing or driving for extended periods. Question 37. True or false? In Virginia, you are required to signal at least 100 feet before making a turn or changing lanes. Answer. True. You are required to signal at least 100 feet before making a turn or changing lanes to give other drivers time to react to your intentions. Question 38. When driving in a construction zone, you should A. Increase your speed to pass through quickly. B. Maintain your normal speed. C. Slow down and obey all posted signs. Answer. C. Slow down and obey all posted signs. When driving in a construction zone, slow down and obey all posted signs, as conditions may change and workers may be present. Question 39. True or false? If an emergency vehicle approaches with its lights and siren on, you must pull over to the right side of the road and stop. Answer. True. If an emergency vehicle approaches with its lights and siren on, you must pull over to the right side of the road and stop to allow the vehicle to pass. Question 40. When making a left turn at an intersection, you should A. Yield to oncoming traffic B. Turn immediately if there is no traffic C. Turn into the far right lane Answer A. Yield to oncoming traffic when making a left turn at an intersection, you should yield to oncoming traffic and turn when it is safe to do so. Question 41. True or false? It is illegal to drive with headphones or earbuds in both ears. Answer. True. 
It is illegal to drive with headphones or earbuds in both ears, as it can impede your ability to hear emergency vehicles and other traffic noises. Question 42. The speed limit in a residential area is A. 15 miles per hour B. 25 miles per hour C. 35 miles per hour Answer. B. 25 miles per hour. The speed limit in a residential area is typically 25 miles per hour, but always follow posted speed limits as they may vary. Question 43. True or false? Bicyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as motor vehicle drivers. Answer. True. Bicyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as motor vehicle drivers and must obey all traffic laws. Question 44. When you see a no passing zone sign, it means A. You may pass if it is safe to do so. B. You may not pass until the sign is no longer visible. C. You may not pass until you see a sign indicating it is safe. Answer. C. You may not pass until you see a sign indicating it is safe. No passing zone signs indicate that it is not safe to pass in that area due to limited visibility or other factors. Question 45. True or false? You must turn on your headlights whenever you use your windshield wipers. Answer. True. In Virginia, you are required to turn on your headlights whenever you use your windshield wipers, as it increases your visibility to other drivers. Question 46. To avoid a rear-end collision, you should A. Brake suddenly B. Follow closely behind the vehicle in front of you C. Maintain a safe following distance Answer. C. Maintain a safe following distance. To avoid a rear-end collision, maintain a safe following distance from the vehicle in front of you, allowing you time to react if they suddenly brake or slow down. Question 47. True or false? When parking on a hill, you should always set your parking brake. Answer. True. When parking on a hill, always set your parking brake to prevent your vehicle from rolling. Question 48. The maximum speed limit on interstate highways in Virginia is A. 65 miles per hour B. 70 miles per hour C. 75 miles per hour Answer. B. 70 miles per hour the maximum speed limit on interstate highways in Virginia is 70 miles per hour, but always follow posted speed limits as they may vary. Question 49. True or false? Pedestrians always have the right of way at crosswalks, even if there is no traffic signal. Answer. True. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks, whether marked or unmarked, and drivers must yield to them. Question 50. If you are driving and become tired or drowsy, you should A. Turn up the radio to stay awake B. Roll down the window for fresh air C. Pull over and rest or switch drivers Answer. C. Pull over and rest or switch drivers. If you become tired or drowsy while driving, it is important to pull over and rest or switch drivers to ensure the safety of everyone on the road. Question 51. True or false, if your vehicle has a tire blowout, you should apply the brakes immediately. Answer, false. If your vehicle has a tire blowout, do not apply the brakes immediately. Instead, maintain control of the vehicle, let it slow down naturally, and then carefully pull over to a safe location. Question 52. When driving in icy or snowy conditions, you should A. Increase your following distance B. Use cruise control C. Brake suddenly to test traction. Answer. A. Increase your following distance. When driving in icy or snowy conditions, increase your following distance to give yourself more time to react to changes in road conditions or other vehicles. Question 53. True or false? When approaching an intersection with a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk. Answer. True. When approaching an intersection with a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk, even if you don't see any other vehicles or pedestrians. Question 54. The legal blood alcohol concentration, BAC. Limit for drivers 21 and over in Virginia is A. 
0.08%, B, 0.1%, C, 0.15%. Answer, A, 0.08%. The legal bay limit for drivers 21 and over in Virginia is 0.08%. Driving with a BAC at or above this limit is considered driving under the influence, DUI, and can result in serious penalties. Question 55. True or false? If you are stopped by a police officer, you should turn off your engine and step out of the vehicle. Answer. False. If you are stopped by a police officer, turn off your engine, but remain in your vehicle with your hands visible on the steering wheel until the officer gives you further instructions. Question 56. When approaching a roundabout, the correct order of actions is A. Signal. Yield. Enter. B. Enter. Yield. Signal. C. Yield. Enter. Signal. Answer. A. Signal. Yield. Enter. When approaching a roundabout, signal your intention to enter, yield to traffic already in the roundabout, and enter when it is safe to do so. Question 57. True or false? It is illegal to pass a school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, regardless of the direction you are traveling. Answer. True. It is illegal to pass a school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, regardless of the direction you are traveling. You must stop and wait until the bus has turned off its red lights and retracted its stop arm. Question 58. If you approach a railroad crossing with flashing red lights and lowered gates, you should A. Proceed with caution B. Stop and wait for the train to pass C. Drive around the lowered gates Answer B. Stop and wait for the train to pass If you approach a railroad crossing with flashing red lights and lowered gates, you must stop and wait for the train to pass before proceeding. Question 59. True or false? If your vehicle is equipped with anti-lock brakes, ABS, you should pump the brakes when stopping in an emergency. Answer. False. If your vehicle is equipped with anti-lock brakes, ABS, you should apply firm, continuous pressure to the brake pedal when stopping in an emergency. ABS prevents the wheels from locking, allowing you to maintain steering control. Question 60. When two vehicles arrive at a four-way stop at the same time. A. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. B. The vehicle on the right must yield to the vehicle on the left. C. Both vehicles should proceed at the same time. Answer. A. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. At a four-way stop, when two vehicles arrive at the same time, the vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right.